Hi everyone, welcome to another video of the flexibility series and in today's tutorial you will be learning to do Poon Bhujangasana which is also known as head to toe or head to heel touch. This asana is extremely helpful for your back flexibility so make sure you follow the provided steps for 20 to 40 seconds to obtain better results. In order to master the Poon Bhujangasana, first we will do the up dog stretch. Keep your spine straight and look forward. It is important to regulate your breath while performing this stretch. In the second stretch you will perform the cobra pose and you will bend backwards. Don't force your neck and your back while performing the cobra stretch, perform it as per your own flexibility level. Keep in mind the position of my leg here. In the third stretch, you will grab your feet and the focus is to stretch your quads because in Poon Bhujangasana, you have to bring your feet closer to your head. In the first variation, you will be resting completely on the surface and in the second variation, you will just lift your upper body a bit towards your leg. Now for the upcoming stretches, you will go to the wall and grab your yoga blocks. In the next stretch, you will perform the up dog and cobra pose using the support of wall because it will help you to stretch even better. Make sure you use yoga block or any kind of support while you are stretching with respect to wall. Here I am using my target bed. It's a kind reminder, don't push yourself too hard during this practice. You have to perform it as per your own flexibility level and progress it every day. Now after this, from the cobra pose, you have to bring your legs forward and try to move them and get into the Poon Bhujangasana pose. You don't have to do it in one go, this is just to ensure the position of your legs. And now in the last stretching exercise, you have to place your feet along the wall. Note that here you have to get comfortable with the position of your legs. Your legs shouldn't pain in this stretch. And if your knees or legs are paining in this posture, you have to amend your position because you are making a mistake. In the beginning, you will keep your back straight and look forward just like in the case of up dog. And after that, you have to bend your neck, you have to bend your back and try to get closer to your feet. Try to touch them. In the end, here is a simple method to learn Poon Bhujangasana and an easy to follow drill which will help you to master this asana easily. This drill consists of head to toe taps. That is, you have to get into the cobra pose, bring your neck backwards, Keep breathing properly and then keeping your legs apart, you have to try to touch your feet to your head. The prime focus here is to get comfortable with this posture and avoid any kind of leg or back pain. Now very carefully, you will look at the proper method of performing Poon Bhujangasana in one row. First of all, you have to lie comfortably over the mat, keeping your legs apart, just equal to the distance between your shoulders. After that, you will take a deep breath and bend backwards. And at the same time, you have to bring your legs towards your head. After that, lie down again, breathe in properly, 
relax your back relax your posture and then you will perform this in one go you may not learn this asana in one day but trust me these easy drills and stretches will help you to get closer to your purn bhujangasana just stay consistent with your practice don't give up and perform these stretches as per your own flexibility level if this tutorial was helpful make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe my channel for more tutorials and share this with someone who wants to be flexible see you in the next video